Allison here again with you today to go over our new story and we're so excited. We're had, I hope you guys had a happy new year and a happy Christmas and we are getting ready to start our new series where we're learning about how Jesus helps sick people and our Bible verse tells us that Jesus helps all of us. So today we're going to learn about a man who was sick where he couldn't walk. He was something called paralyzed. His legs wouldn't walk. Think about how hard that would be if your legs couldn't walk. Or think about how it feels to be sick. Oh, that's not very fun, is it? What do you what do you like when you're sick? Do you like having your mommy hold you or rock you or something like that? Yeah, being sick is not fun. And this man was sick all of the time. But he had some very special friends. He had some friends who cared so much about him that they said, we want to try to help him be better. And they decided that they were going to take him to Jesus because they believed that Jesus could help him feel better. And so we have our friends over here there. If you can see them on this side of the board, they are carrying their friend and they're trying to bring him over here to the house where Jesus is, but they can't get in. That's so full. And if we look inside the house, can you guys see Jesus? Where is he? Yeah, he's right here. That's right. And there's people all around him and they can't get in to see Jesus. And they're so sad because they know that Jesus is the only one that can help their friend. So what did they decide to do? Let's look over here on this side. Oh, back then the roofs on houses weren't slanted like they are now. They were flat and there were steps that went up and oh, look what they did. They are carrying their friend up the steps. They're going upstairs to the roof and they get on the roof and they start making a hole in their roof. Back then the roofs would have been made of like dirt and stuff like that. So think about they're digging through the dirt to try to get their friend to Jesus because that's how much they loved him and how much they believed Jesus would be the one that could help him. And so they make a hole inside the roof and they lowered their friend down the hole. So he was laying in front of Jesus. Oh my goodness. So now he's in the middle of all these people on his mat and Jesus sees him. And you know what Jesus does? Do you think Jesus just ignored him? No, Jesus looked at him and he looked at the man and he said, man, your sins are forgiven. Now get up and walk, take your mat and walk. And you know what happened to the man? He got up and his legs worked. He could walk and he was able to pick up his mat and he was able to walk out of that house because Jesus healed him. And Jesus takes care of sick people today, even now. And we can always pray when we know someone who's sick, we can pray because Jesus loves us so much that he helps us when we're sick. So maybe you know someone in your life that's sick. Maybe you know someone who doesn't feel good or maybe they have a big sick where maybe they're in the hospital or something like that. But you know what? We can pray and ask Jesus to help our friends just like our, our friend in our story, just like his friends brought him to Jesus. We can take our friends and people we know to Jesus. So we're going to pray right now and we're going to thank God that he, that he and Jesus love us so much that they take care of us. And if you know anyone in your family or anyone you know that's sick, you can pray for them right now too. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for loving us and thank you for helping us when we are sick. Thank you that you love sick people and that you want to help them. Dear God, we pray for anybody that we know that's sick right now, whether it's just a little sick like a cough or a big sick where they're in the hospital. Dear God, you can help them and we just pray that you would help our friends that are sick. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Yeah. So you guys remember you can always pray to for those that are sick to help or when you're feeling sick you can pray for God to help you for Jesus to help you. And we have a fun activity for you guys to do. Moms and dads you can get on and we have some different um, faces. We have four different ones so we have just one right now but there's four different options so you can get them. You can color them. And then you're gonna take some construction paper and cut out a hand. And you're gonna take a tissue and you're gonna glue the tissue to your hand. And then you're going to glue your hand to your paper right down here. 
So that way they can pretend like if we have a sneeze, we want to cover our mouth with a, a tissue. So Achoo! they can, they can pr practice covering their mouths with their hands. So it's just a fun activity that you guys can do at home. And remember, as you're doing it, to remember how Jesus healed the paralyzed man and Jesus can help us when we're sick too. You guys have a great day.